I know that in 2018, uh, you wrote a demo that eventually became Enrique Iglesias and Pipples moved to Miami. And I have to ask, as a local South Floridian, did you ever get to meet Mr. Worldwide? So I've met, I've met Pipple one time in passing at a Shack show. At a but, Shack uh, show? At, wait, was yeah. it at uh, the, the Fun House? Yeah, I was at Fun House. <gasps> I was at ago. that night, right oh, before really? everything went to shit with COVID. Exactly. That was that one time. Oh my God. Were you playing that? I don't remember. Yeah, I played, um, when did I play? Or did I just go up with him? I can't remember if I had my own set or I think I just went up for, for our song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. me and Shaq have a song. That was pretty around the time it came out or am I misremembering? Um, when did that come out? I don't even remember. I think it was either, it might've been a song that isn't out yet because we have another one coming out soon, but I don't remember which song we played to be honest. And do you guys have a video for that one? Am I remembering things correctly? Um, Maybe I'm thinking of a different one, Shaq song. No. No, the last one we didn't do a video. Okay. The last one well, we, we don't have one. How is it working with Shaq? I mean, he's just, he's like the best. He's like the <laughs> nicest dude ever. Um, I, yeah, it's like he's like an uncle to me, I feel like. Because even during quarantine, I was like going through something. And I, I, like, I remember I like tweeted something and he FaceTimed me while he's getting a haircut. He's like, he's like, yo, Nitty, like, he's like, what's, what's up, man? Like, what do you mean? Like, you're good. You don't got word. Don't worry about what, whatever the, Hell, people say I, you shouldn't give a shit about that. I'm with you. Your man, should, your team's with you. Like, the gave me this whole like speech. I was like, oh, I was like, damn, this guy just made me like feel better. Like, he's when you see that stuff on like commercials of him like giving back and stuff. Like, he he's allowed to do that because he 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 genuinely does that stuff and buys people things and gives them things like out of kindness. So he he, he really is that type of character. It's That's it's insane. So awesome. he, he only likes dubstep because he likes it. He doesn't have to. Use, He's super, you know, he's good. He doesn't have to do anything he doesn't want to do. So if you see him like doing stuff with like little white DJ producers to make dubstep, <laughs> it's because he likes it. You know what I mean? He only, he only does stuff he likes. It's crazy. I know. Actually, it is really crazy to me how fucking hard he goes when he DJs. It yeah, is in dude. <laughs> he bla I don't know how he's not deaf. He puts the booth louder than anybody I've met in my life. <gasps> amazing that night was really fun that's so cool yeah. that you were there yeah. then you also produced 200 miles per hour for bad bunny and that was also with diplo is that around the time that you met diplo um i met diplo i'd say at least a year and a half maybe a year a year and a half before that um i had been working with them a little bit i, I had a publishing deal with with like Matt Deason and stuff. And uh, that was just like one random night. I remember like I made a beat and he was like, yo, I'm in the studio. Like he'll just, whenever he's in like a studio session or something, he like he texted me today about some beat I made. He'll just be like, yo, send me a beat. So I like send him a little stuff and then he takes in the studio or takes it with them and they work on it. And then sometimes I have no idea what's going to come out of it. And that one just happened to be Bad Bunny. So like, Did I you- forget what happened. It was like December, Christmas time and he dropped it on Christmas Day. I remember some crazy shit when he dropped the album. It was like Christmas Day or New Year's. I don't remember which it was. And I was like, oh shit, I made the album. Like it's actually <laughs> out. Like we really like we just did it. It was like so random and crazy that it just came out. I love that it's a surprise to you. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, like oh sometimes shit. I don't know. That's just how it is. I mean, I do that sometimes too. Like once you have like a million projects and you have collaborations and you just Sometimes I forget that I hit up a kid three months ago for a song and then yeah. I send it to somebody else and I do stuff. And then I'm like, oh, we should use this. Let's put it out in two months. And then I hit, hit him up. He's like, oh, I forgot you were using it. And I was like, yeah, dude, I don't know. Now's the time. Let's, <laughs> like, it's sometimes you just forget, like, the amount of, you know, projects, especially, like, I'm a lot like Diplo where, like, we both try to just do every yeah. possible thing we can. Like, I, I've learned a lot from him trying to, like, do that. But, yeah, sometimes you just – that's why I send – anything to anybody because you just never know what's going to come out of it and that's clearly one of the that i mean that's my best selling record that i've been a part of literally it's like 10 times or something amount i have a i have a plaque for it i'm just about to pick up oh um, but it's exciting. like it's, it's almost like 10 times platinum or something in latin wow. in latin so it's crazy that is so crazy and i love yeah. that it all feels like it ties into who you are being in South Florida and like, obviously. Yeah, it's hundred percent. Bad Bunny's so, so amazing. Uh, I remember seeing him at a, at, actually with Diplo. I think that's how he made the connection. 
um, cause I knew Skip Marley and the Marley family and they were all at this yeah. one little festival. And I was like, well, who is this guy? He's sick. And it was just like a dope Latin rapper. And I remember that was when like that sound was coming up. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was, it's pretty random. I can't, can't lie. Even moved to Miami. We, I just made that and we tried to send it. And I, was, I knew in my head, Pitbull would be great for it. But um, <laughs> luckily like the team that like Sh- Cheryl's worked with him before in the past. And That's we so know his cool. like, team, his lawyers, his managers were all, were all cool. But um, yeah, some of those things, you just never know if they're going to go or not. And that was one of them that went. Amazing. I love your attitude. Absolutely. Uh, also, On My Mind is one that you and Diplo were working around with. So that one I have the, I just got this actually. This is good timing. <laughs> you got this guy. I love the goodies. <laughs> I just, this is like the first, the plaque of it. Wow. It's, uh, it's um, silver in UK. Wow, congratulations. It's beautiful. They actually called the song Higher Ground. Oh, because that's the label. So I have to get a new one. It's not like technically correct, but it looks Oh my God, that's so funny. (laughs) 